Wait, I can't see this side. <laughs> John Mill, John Mill. Everybody look at John Mill. Not a really big floss today because I have Wow, one. don't put any energy in I have in a there. headache. Okay. That is pitiful. Okay. Howdy, howdy. Anna says hi. Hi, Anna. So, it's nighttime. So the lighting's a little weird. I have extra lights on to kind of help, but it's still kind of dark. Hopefully that's all right. Okay, so what I want to talk about tonight, today, whatever, when you're watching this video, um, we have mentioned, I have mentioned more than once about how I flatten my canvases. I have multiple questions of people asking if I iron them, how I do it. I've talked about it a lot. So if you listen, you should know, but I want to share it again um, because quite a few people still ask. So we have this canvas. You can still see some lines in it, but it has been sitting under my computer for about three days, I think. And you can see, and it's a partial too. So um, there's not as much adhesive to kind of weigh it down. Let me find a full drill. Okay, here we go. This is a full drill. And it has been under the computer being weighted down for several days. The other thing I did when I got took this out of my package is I pulled the adhesive back and smoothed it down. Now, this is one that I took out of the package and just kind of moved the drills to the side and left it. So you can see, if you do not do anything with your canvas, it will not flatten out on its own. So the other thing that I want to show you is this one. I took it out of the package and I flattened it out and I used my hands and just kind of did like this. And you can see it's not bad. It still has some curl to it. It still has a lot of creases in it. So the other thing that you need to do, well, the other thing that I do when I pull canvases out of the packaging and tilt this down so you can see my hands. All right, so what I do when I'm talking about pulling the film back and smoothing it is pull it back about halfway like so. Whoops. Pull it about halfway and then I slowly go across and I spend more time where the folds are in the canvas. Like that. Oops, there's a bubble. Air bubbles. And then I flip it around. And I do the same thing. Y'all don't need to see my insurance cards. Do the same thing the other direction. So now, whoops. The wrinkles in the plastic don't really matter. It's just me not liking it. So. You can still see there are some waves, but it is considerably flat. Now, this is a full drill, so once you get your drills on it, it's going to get rid of those fold marks even more. Now, I want to show you the difference that this one will be. So, this one, this is all I did, and I left it sitting. So now I want you to see, even though doing that, still bent. Now this is a full canvas, a full drill. So there is a lot of adhesive on this. So all you do is pull back your plastic sheet and smooth it out like that. Flip it the other way. And do the same thing again. Now, look at the difference. Just that little bit of straightening out that film makes a huge difference 
on the way the canvas lays. So, no need to iron your canvases. I've heard bad things about ironing them. Um, you don't need to iron them. So, I've got a really messy desk right now, you guys. I'm really, really sorry. I apologize. <sighs> Actually, I need to hide these because those are actually design team projects that aren't supposed to be seen until the actual day I post them. So if you saw, don't pay attention. Okay, I have been naughty. I have been working on a couple of paintings that I got in the mail that I haven't shown you yet. So this is a reveal and a progress in the same, um, same shot. Killing two birds with one stone. Sorry. Okay, so I had to get this one because Cinderella is Emily's first princess that she really liked. And this reminds me of Cinderella. So you can see there, she is mostly almost done. There's just a little bit left to do. And this has some really cool, um, the light colored stone drills are different from what I'm used to. So let me cover this back up because I still have some adhesive exposed and I don't want to get my sleeves stuck to it. This is a 40 by 50 special drill and I love these are the ones that has that frame built in and I love how the, the picture comes out of the frame a little bit. Now let me show you I kept these drills separate and I used only these I was going to just use from my stash but then I decided I wanted to see how much was left over and I want to show you that as well. So first of all they sent three of the pearls now these are just her earrings, so just here and here, so that's the only place the pearl is. So they sent three, so I have an extra one of those. And then these are the shiny drills, and we have four shades of blue. And this is how much is left over after I finished each of those sections. So these are all extras. I'm completely done with these colors on the actual canvas. So these are all extras. And then here is the really cool, this is a really pale blue with the Aurora Borealis effect on it. And they are so sparkly, so sparkly. So this is left over. So I'm finished with that color as well on the canvas. And this, these are all extras. So I really, they're so generous with the drills. It's amazing. And now these I'm still working on. So I have a ton of these still because there's still quite a bit of that left. Um, that's the only color I have left to do. But I want to show you again. Hopefully I can get the sparkle. The spit. Sorry, good thing you weren't sitting in front of me. So of course they're all sparkly because they're the shiny drills. But this section down here is mostly that light blue. And it's just it's so pretty. So, so pretty. And her hair has the silver or the white, whatever you call it, um, in her hair. And the butterflies are all outlined with the silver or the white, whatever you want to call it, the clear. And then her dress has the blues and the white in it. So this is really, really pretty. And Emily saw this. Um, I don't think she saw it till I was working on it. So she hadn't seen it at first. And her mouth dropped open and she was just like, that's for me, right? So again, it's a 40 by 50. really nice this is a, a seems to be a little bit of a heavier canvas which is really nice let me see if I can if I fall over don't laugh too hard excuse me Anna <laughs> did you see that she's like oh plastic it's gonna kill me 
Oh, hang on, I need a drink. Okay, so since you already saw all these two, I'll go ahead and show them to you. Um, but I need a minute. No, I don't. I'm going to say I need a minute to find them in this mountain over here. This is that PJ packaging, plain Jane, remember? I crack myself up sometimes. I'm glad I made a few of you chuckle on that one. Doing my job, doing my job, right? Okay, so this canvas is absolutely gorgeous. Love it. I'm going to have a hard time giving this one up. This is... Um, bought this for my parents. A lot of you are asking me what I'm doing with all the paintings that I have or that I'm getting or that I've completed. I have a lot on my walls. Um, I have fourteen in my bedroom. No, sixteen in my bedroom. Um, I have I think eight framed and hanging in my this the main part of my house, the living room, hallway, that thing. And then Emily has I think four hanging in her room. Um, I have given as gifts two completed and framed to one friend. Um, another friend got one completed and framed already. Um, my sister, I gave her two or three, either two or three completed and framed I gave to my sister. Um, my parents have gotten two completed and framed. So um, when I first started buying them, I was just buying them because they were cool and I wanted to see how it would look finished. But now that I've like kind of calmed down just a little bit, not a whole lot, but just a little bit. Um, I'm starting to purchase with friends or family in mind. So I plan to complete them and frame them and then give them as gifts. So I'm not I'm not hoarding all these paintings. Um, I will share the love and share my my love of all things sparkly. So like I said, this will be for my parents because they love lighthouses. This is a 30 by 40 and it is 21 colors and it has that more advanced coding where it's strictly alphabet, random. And then for the colors, let's see, we can just do them upright because like for 21 colors, um, I'm curious to see how many colors, how many different colors we have, because there's a lot of blue in this. This is part of why I liked it, but I know with the, um, what are you doing? She's on my dresser, look. What are you doing? I'm not open on the blinds. It's dark out. You can't see. <laughs> Crazy cat. Do you see the new addition right there? I went ahead and framed my little owl friend the other night and got her hung up. Wow, look at this. Oh, it's literally, my arms are stretched as far as I can stretch up. That's all the colors and there's one more bag. So this is the, that's a big, thick, that's a lot of drills in there. Lots of drills. And then we have another, we have the turquoise. Let's see, I hope we can see the colors at night. I haven't done a video at night in a while. And my hot light doesn't do the best for showing you all like it's supposed to. So this is turquoise. Pale blue, no, that's way worse. Pale blue, gray. We have a bubblegum pink. This is a blue, real pretty blue. 
pale teal, a more fuchsia color. Then we have another pale blue and a more um, royal blue. This is a very pale gray. Two purples, we have a lavender and then um, gray. Uh, let's see, this is, this is a really dark green. Sunflower, mustard, whatever color you want to say that it is. We have another pale blue and another light gray. We have a little bit of a darker gray. And this is black. There's quite a bit of black. Hmm. Number three is a D. Okay. So it's this whole side. I guess this is all going to be in the shadow. Here. So this all this whole section is black. So that kind of bums me out that it's not more. But I guess maybe it's trees. Yeah, it kind of looks like trees. But that's a lot of black. And then we have a real pretty pale pink. And then this is a real pretty wine color. So not a whole lot. It's mostly blues and gray. A couple of purples, a couple of pinks. So I think just those little splashes of color will be pretty. So that is that one with our non-DNC code packaging. It really bums me out. I need someone had suggested that I buy the DNC color chart, which I'm actually contemplating. Um, I haven't looked it up yet to see where to where to get the best price for it, but I know they exist um, because I'm pretty sure I actually had the floss code when I did cross stitch. Um, it seems like it had like little pieces of the floss with the color next to it or the number next to it, unless I'm like hallucinating. But anyway. Um, ma, 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 ma. where are we going to put this? I'm running out of space. Okay, so the next one that you saw when I was smoothing it out was this amazing unicorn. This is a full drill, 30 by 30. And it is 18 colors. So 18 colors is pretty good for a 30 by 30. And let's see. Gonna need a minute. I'll pause just so you don't have to suffer through the crinkling. Okay. If I had remembered this, it would have been a lot easier to find because this came in a fancy, fancy, fancy. So, like I said, 18 colors. It came with an inventory sheet, which I have never gotten except for my. Custom. That was the only painting I've ever gotten that came with an inventory sheet. Pretty sure. Now that I say that, I'm probably wrong. But anyway, so here is the inventory sheet. You can see it has the number of what number the color is. It has the number that is actually printed on the canvas. Then you have your DMC code printed next to that. Next to that, it tells you how many drills you're going to need for each color. Then the package next to that is how many bags? Oh, yeah, how many bags? Sorry, it's been a long time since I've looked at the inventory sheet. So this red column is how many bags I should have of said color. And then again, this is the um, how much I should need because that kind of scares me. I need more than they sent me. Hmm. Makes me nervous. All right. So anyway, so it also shows you the canvas. So if your sheet gets misplaced, you know what you're looking for to put it back together. Now, the bags are printed so cool. Now, this is the other reason you need to keep your inventory sheet because... These bags only have the DMC code 
printed on them. Now see, here is that one that I have. I'm supposed to have 18. So let's see. Eighteen. But it says I need 18.7. So I hope I don't end up short. I need 3,534 of this color. And I'm not sure. I probably have this color already, 762. It's a fairly common gray. It's a pale gray. So um, because the canvas does not have the DMC code printed. It just has the color number and then the code that's on the canvas. So you have to have your chart to know that number 762 is number 11 on the canvas and the code printed on the chart is a D. So if you don't have your inventory sheet, you're gonna be completely lost. So that is a downside to the way this is printed. But I'm happy because I have the DMC codes. These are rounds. A lot of times it's the squares that come packaged like this from what I understand. So, um, and again, this is eBay. This is just a regular eBay buyer. I would just, I liked the painting. That's why I bought it. So, you know, I, I did not, I had no idea it was going to come like this. So we have a chocolate brown. And this is a peachy, similar to my flesh tone, I guess you could call it. It's a pretty color. It's a nice, I don't know, I guess it's more peach. Or maybe more brown, more on the brown side than orange. Then we have some blue. Let me, um, let me do this. We have some blue and some more blue. I think this is probably better for color for the. Oh, look. Another kitty came in. She's a loaf. Look, she lost her feet. Her feet fell off. Next, we have a really pretty coral. We have a more um, kind of a grapey purple. This is a bright, almost a bubblegum shade, but it's purple. And it looks a lot darker on camera. It's almost a, almost a neon type color. Then we have gray. And we had two more grays. These are two different shades. Yep, you can see that. Two different shades of gray. Hang on. Okay, I decided to move you down because it's just, I don't know, it just seems awkward holding up these little tiny bags. They are really small. There is a very small amount. See, this is 666, my favorite red, and it looks really, really orange from my view on the camera. So um, this is 310. This is a really pretty, almost mint green, but not quite. It's more of a teal than a mint green. We have that purpley wine color again. Another, is this the same color? Now that I say it, nope, these are two different of the little peachy tan. See, now this one looks more tan than peach. So that's two different colors there. We have a navy blue, and then we have another pale blue. So those are all, seems like so many drills for a 30 by 30. But I guess since it's a full canvas, let's turn it back over here again. So you can get a good look at it. It's really a pretty, really a pretty piece of art. Um, this is another one that Emily was just like over the moon, jumping up and down crazy for um, when she saw it. It'll go really nice with her pink horse. Although she's probably not going to have much wall space by the time we get through all the horses that she's picked out. Okay, this one, let me, the plastic is kind of 
warped on this, so let me just smooth out the wrinkles here. This is another 30 by 30 full drill, but the surprise um, I got from this was it's actually square. So this goes to my very small pile of square paintings that I have, but I love this. And this is another one that I had showed my mom, and she said she really liked too. So I do have two of these, but one is for me and one is for my mom, um, and they're both square. I just love, they're so colorful, so bright. There are 28 colors in this painting. 28. It's 30 by 30. There's only 18 in the horse. 28 colors in this. It is going to be phenomenal. Plus, since it's a square, it's going to be really, really cool. So let's flip over. I haven't found a rogue drill. Actually, it's a flat drill. It's not even a, a normal one. So let me turn this canvas over and let me tilt you down. And we'll go through these. Now, the other really nice thing about this is look how they're packaged. They have the canvas code printed on a little sticker. They have the color number printed on a sticker and the DMC code printed next to it. And they are all packaged in individual zip pop bags. How beautiful is that? So I don't have to worry about getting extra storage for my squares. Oh, y'all need to go check out my Facebook page because I finished my custom and I posted um, a little video showing the sparkle and a finished picture of that. And it's buried, not buried, it's got some stuff on top of it so I don't want to undo it again. But go to the Facebook page and check that out because it looks pretty cool all done. So here's a really pretty blue. There's that bubblegum fuchsia pink color. This is a chocolate brown, an olive green. We have the primary beautifulness right here. So we have red, green, yellow, and orange, and then blue. We have another olive green there, a lime green. This is a rusty brownish orange color here. We have two mustard sunflower colors, a lighter and a darker, lighter, darker. We have a really pretty burgundy color. And I love how flat these bags are too. I mean, they don't leave any air in the bag. They're just packaged beautifully. This is a pale, almost, almost mint green, but more of an olivey green. I know that's weird. This is neon orange. I am not joking. This is like construction cone orange right here, people. That is a bright, bright, bright color so cool and this is like school bus yellow we have a chocolate brown not quite more like milk chocolate this uh, first one was like dark chocolate this is like milk chocolate you can see the two different shades there so that was the first brown i showed you and this is the second brown we have another red which this is more primary red this is a little bit darker here, so you really, yeah, you can see that. You see the difference. We have navy blue. Oh, look, here's my 666, my favorite orangey red color. Then we have another orange. So, so far we have three oranges. So we have regular orange, this one's a little bit darker, and then we have day glow orange. We have, let's do the colors a little bit. I have yellows. Here's our greens. Our browns. More green. Our fuchsia. Here's our blues. Here's our reds. Here is our burgundy. 
And then these are the mustardy, rust brown, whatever color you want to call it. Here's another blue. And let's see, we still have another lime green. And this is a brownish olive green. Another blue. Another blue. And a turquoise color. So we have two really dark blues. Two more primary blues, a little bit brighter there. So this is an interesting, interesting selection of shades. Pretty cool. It's going to be a beautiful painting. Absolutely beautiful painting. The original artwork is mind blowing. It's just so cool. So let's get these put away real fast. If I can. I know I'll never get them back in there as smooth and beautiful as they have them. So I'm hoping that even though this is a square, since it's 30 by 30, it'll go pretty quick. Um, although, this is such a, it's, see, you guys, this addiction, this is the bad side of it, because you get so many really cool paintings, and then you can't decide which one you're going to do next, because you want to do them all at the same time. And Emily has completely lost interest in doing them. Um, so she is not, she'd rather make her little TikTok videos and talk on the phone with her friends or draw or paint. So um, I can't fault her there. She's still being creative. She just doesn't want to do diamond paintings. She, her attention span just... You know, this isn't for everybody. This is a very meticulous, very tedious craft. So, um, you know, I can't can't blame her too much. All right, our next painting, I will leave the camera like this so you can see. <laughs> Isn't it cute? Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Adorable. So let me find the drills for this little cutie pie. Should be fairly easy because there's, there's the second pack of drills for... The other canvas for that colorful canvas. Um, can't find it. All right, so this little cutie is on a 30 by 40, but he's pretty small. So this will definitely be one that I trim down. Um, this definitely does not need to be a 30 by 40. So him, just him or her, whatever you want to call him. Um, we'll say six and a half inches by 10 inches. So this easily, easily, easily should have been a 30 by 30. Because see, look at that. This is my 30 by 30 canvas, and it would have been perfect for this little cutie. So, um, yeah, I will definitely be cutting this down when I frame it. But look at that. Isn't that cute? So cute, so cute. All right, this is the Plain Jane packaging yet again. Oh, that's kind of distracting seeing her like that. She is 17 colors, and it has that more um, advanced. I don't know why that feels advanced to me. Um, it's strictly alphabets for the color codes, for the canvas codes, I mean. Sorry, canvas codes. 17 colors. And again, guys, these are all coming from eBay. All these coming from eBay. I've seen a lot of them on Peggy Buy. So if you're wanting them and don't want to go through eBay, you can get a lot of what I show you on Peggy Buy. That's why I talk about it so much because they have a lot of the same ones that eBay has. So that's why I talk about it all the time. So we have Dusty Rose. Dusty Rose. Um, cherry red. This looks like the 666 red. Then we have three different shades of orangey yellow. This is more sunflower. This is a really pretty peach and mint green. Finally mint green. And then our baby blue burgundy. Then we have a, a true blue, dusty blue, another pale blue. Then we have more of an um, orange or a pumpkin, kind of pumpkin. 
and then a brighter blue, a darker peach, and then a little tiny bit of cream. So this is going to be a fun, of course, all the blues. Emily and I love the blue, so that's part of why I got him. Plus, he's an owl or she. I don't know. I keep going back and forth. I can't decide if she's going to be a she or a he. Because with a hat, you know, it could go either way. It doesn't have to be gender specific, right? So those are the PJ packaging. It has very clear printing. They did not smear at all. So they are beautifully packaged, which I really like. The, let's see, let's do one more. Oops, that's the one you've already seen. See, that's the second one that I got. Um, oh, I know, I have another reveal to show you. So this is another one that I got in the mail that I had to immediately work on. How gorgeous is that? Now, this one is really, really cool because it has those green are like the blue in the Cinderella. They're more of the opaque. Let's see if we can get them. Ooh. See how flimsy this canvas is? It's not as thick as the Cinderella canvas. So you can see that green is like a regular drill, but it has that Aurora Borealis finish on it. And then up here, we have black drills that have, I guess it's the Aurora Borealis, but it looks more like oil slick to me. Can you see all the different colors in that? Those are all the same color code. That is a black drill with that finish on top of it. So cool. Now, you can also see that there are different size rounds in here. These are also kind of like the oil slick finish on them. And then down here in the wings, we have bigger orangey um, yellow ones and then red ones that are a little bit smaller than that there. The body and the thorax, I should say, has these gold marquee no these are teardrops sorry they're teardrops forgot the uh, another one i got has marquees gold teardrops they are actually gold metallic and then the rest are the shiny drills but you can see here that oil slick look what i'm talking about because you know when you look at an oil slick it's got all the colors of the rainbow in it and that is it's just so cool how they were so different it's so beautiful, and I had to. Now, I also have this same artwork coming in. It's supposed to be a full drill in regular drills. So when I saw this was a special drill, I had to, to have it because I think they'll be really cool hanging side by side. And I haven't decided if these are going to be gifts yet because I just, this one I think I'm going to have to keep because it is Stunning. Now, I also kept the drills separate on this because I wanted you to see, again, how much is left over. So this is all for this painting. And as you can see, it's completed. It's completely done. Finished, finito, ready to frame. And I will show you each individual set. This is the yellow the larger yellow Aurora Borealis or iridescent, whatever you want to call it, the larger stones, you can see how many extras there were. I only needed 10 and I have all these left over. They're going on cards. It's amazing. We have extra red shinies. We have the green Aurora Borealis, larger this is almost the oil slick also because you can see the green, the yellow, the purple, the blue, how it shifts. So cool. Here are those black ones that I was talking about. And you can see this is all in the same bag. And you can see all the colors. And you can see the back of it is just a regular black drill that they have coated with whatever that is. So amazing. So those are all extras. Then we have our standard yellow shiny drills, uh, one of the blues. 
These are the bigger red ones. You can see all those that I have left over. I only needed four. And they sent me this whole bag. I only needed four. So cool. Here's our standard purple shiny drills. Here are the leftovers of the green. Yeah, see it is Aurora Borealis because it says AB on it. So that's what they're calling these, Aurora Borealis. So that is a standard, like, olive -y, kind of an olive grass green, not quite olive, so more of a grass green, I guess. And then it has that finish. You can see all the colors reflecting there. And then last of all are these teardrops. Now, the flat side of them is clear. But it's, you can see the facets through it, and it's really cool. And then the facet, the rounded side is the gold. So how amazing are these? And again, these are the leftovers. So these are going to be going on cards. So excited. So, so excited. So I did this on purpose so I could show you all what is left on these special drills. So I have got a ton of... Of really cool stuff that I can use on cards. I can convert a standard drill um, painting into a shiny drill, which is a possibility. That's a thought. I've already got that rolling around in my head, so um, that might be a future a future video. So let's put that under there because that's a completed painting. And let's see. Oops. Put that on it just. There is still extra sticky on there. So let's do one more, shall we? Let's do, ooh, let's do this one. This is so cool. This is another one that was like, oh, I must have. It's so beautiful. Doesn't look like a whole lot, but it's special drills. It's 30 by 40. There are eight different diamonds on this painting and I'm pretty sure this was yes I remembered it being such a tiny little package so as you can see it's strictly the butterfly that will be um, that has the adhesive on it well I have a lot of wrinkles in this plastic but again that the, the plastic doesn't matter if it's wrinkled as long as you get to smooth out the canvas as best you can. So like I said, there are eight different stones that will be placed on this canvas. The majority of them are our standard shiny drills, silver, pink, two purples, and then yellow. Okay. And then we have an Aurora Borealis teardrop. Beautiful. We have an Aurora Borealis circle, which is faceted. So there are some facets on that. And then this is a cool one. I haven't seen these before. These are like a fluorescent yellow but they have that Aurora Borealis on the facets. So these are pretty cool. Actually, I might have had tiny ones like this. Or maybe I have, no, I have them, I have them for cards. I don't have these for a diamond painting. But they're almost see-through, almost clear. Kind of, kind of, they kind of remind me of like gummy candy or jellies, the way they look. But yeah, so that is that for the butterfly. Pretty simple, straightforward. I'm just kind of looking, checking out which the special ones will go where. But yeah, so this is a cute one. Very cute. And this might go to my sister because she likes this kind of thing too. So anyway, there's our little baby drill package. Should we do one more? I think I have another reveal in here to show you. Let me see. 
could have swore. Oh yeah. It's like I could have swore I did another, finished another one. Oh yeah. Okay, this is another pretty, 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 pretty cool one. This has a lot of different drills on it. It is not the typical, it's got the typical shiny drills, but then it's got um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's got like eight different, I don't, I don't know, it's got a lot on it. How fabulous is this? Get the sparkle in there so you can who and awe over it. Look at the dream catcher. Look at that. It's just amazing. Amazing. So let's zoom in here and you can see the special. So we have pearls that outline the whole owl, not the whole owl, that outline a good portion of the owl. Then we have the tiny black pearls with the aurora borealis on them that are part of the outline. We have these stones here. We have red and purple um, teardrops along with pearl teardrops. We have the bigger stones here. The Dreamcatcher has teardrops and rounds, which is really cool. I love these orange ones. These are really, really pretty. Looks like it's out of place, but I think that's just the way it's. So here, the owl itself, you can see its forehead. It's got the large teardrop. Its beak is purple. Look at its claws. So cool. Looks like it could just reach right out and grab you. And again, it's that framed piece with the, the artwork coming out of it, and it really does come out at you. So this is a 30 by 40. So pretty. I just, I couldn't wait to get this one done. It was just too stunning. Too, too stunning. Now again, I saved the extras for you all so you can see how much is left over because man, oh man, 30, 23, nope, wrong one, where are they? I think I'm having a moment. Maybe I showed you this one already because I don't have these drills. I think we did talk about this one. Did we talk about this one? I don't know. If we didn't, I'm sorry. Um, but I do not sh have the drills separate. So I'm thinking I talked about this already, and that's why I put the drills away. But still, it's fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. So I have something else I wanted to talk to you guys about. I made a new friend, thanks to YouTube. And if you are looking for a place to vacation and you can travel to other countries, and you've ever thought about traveling to Portugal, she has the most amazing island that she lives on. Now, I have to go back. I've got her on Messenger here, so I'm going back. First of all, I'm going to show you this. Come on, flip, flip, flip. Turn. What is the problem? Why won't you turn sideways? Oh, it won't turn sideways. This is her little town that you can't see it, can you? I wonder if I can insert this at the end of the video. Now, her, that looks like, is that the airport? Might be the airport. Now, this town is a little teeny tiny island in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. Um, I will try to import these pictures at the end of this video because I'm serious, y'all. If you want somewhere to go that is quaint and adorable 
and quiet and calm. And why did this quit working? Um, this town is this island is the place to go. It is called uh, Seo. Is it Jorge? It's J O R G E. Now it's called the Azores. And I will definitely, um, Seo Jorge is what I'm guessing is how you say it, but I'm really bad with other languages. I just really wish you could see this photograph because it is just, I mean, it is literally, oh, you can't see it. You can't see it. I really hope I can insert these pictures at the end of the, the, um, video. Because, I mean, the town is beautiful, it's small, it looks so peaceful being right there on the ocean. She said that they have the most beautiful weather. So if you can travel, I just spit again, why am I spitting? Oh. If you can travel and go to other countries, Check this place out because this is definitely being added to my bucket list. And with it being so small and quaint, it reminds me of like those villas in Italy you see in movies. So amazing. So amazing. So um, I've kind of rambled on a long, a long time on this video. So I want to get this working on and I have a bunch of others that I probably will um, wait to do the rest. Um, because it's late. It's already 10 o'clock here. So um, I will let y'all go and I'll see you real soon. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Um, I had mentioned a long time ago that I was working on another giveaway. Um, we are really close to 2,000 subscribers. So I think that will be our next giveaway since I've already missed the 1,500 by a long shot. Um, but I have a good idea of what the prize will be. So I just have to figure out what you guys will have to do to be entered in the drawing. So be on the lookout for that. Please continue to subscribe if you haven't. Thank you so much for your support. Please give me a like, um, leave me a comment. I will try to respond to each one. If I don't answer you in the comment section, I will answer you in an actual video. Um, so yeah, I love y'all. Thanks, have a good one. Thank mm -hmm. you.